perfect start for Paddy from England. Sri Lanka in the second over, two for one. A super, super delivery by Kadik. Fuller length, forcing Lakapaku onto the onside and getting that little bit of movement to beat the outside of the bat and knock his off some time. A very good delivery by Kadik. Fuller length this time and uh, Goff concedes another boundary, this time through mid on. It's just blocked away, it's uh, running away so quickly down to third man, that's four. Three fours, three and four balls. Stunning stuff from uh, Sangakara. That's through the covers. Darren Goff's got to chase this one, but he's not going to catch it. In the air and out. What you have to say is a very soft dismissal. Darren Goff roughed him up. Hit him on the arm, one past his nose, and Sangakara fell for the old three-card trick. Edged, and is it taken? Nasser Hussain claims a catch. Oh, it's gone on the ground. Nope, not out. That was my verdict. I think that's bounced. Up in the air and out. Brilliant work by Hussain and Croft. Dias rear goes now, just as though... Sri Lanka thinking that they're getting into a position of strength to lose uh, another vital wicket. Through the gap on the leg side between mid on and mid wicket. Again, it's beautifully timed and beautifully placed by uh, Jay Warden. That's terrific now. Was that off the outside edge? I'm not sure if it was or wasn't. Initial was, um, did it come off the pad? Straight off the out. Oh dear, oh dear, that's uh, not a good one. Straight off the shoulder of the bat. Absolutely no doubt. It's pulled away, and that'll go for four. Short arm pull, all the way through mid-wicket to four, that really is a class stroke. Down the track, over the top, and a long way over the top. That goes all the way, it's carried uh, 15 yards over the boundary rope. Catch it, yeah! It's time and appeal, the finger goes up, the silver has to go this time. So once again, a field change and a change of tactic works for England. That's good thinking by Hussain and Giles. The silver trying to whip it away through mid-wicket, edging the ball onto his pad. Good catch uh, in front. Sri Lanka four down. Now that's a, worth a big shout and it's given out. And I have to say that I think that looked spot on my gut feeling as I saw that. No shot offered. Out. Gut feelings are probably what it's all about for an umpire as well. We jumped out of our seats. Very dangerous not to play, just to opt to kick the ball away. See what Russell Arnold does. Tram lines are in, forget them. The ball spins as it's spun enough to come back on the angle over the wicket. Answered in the affirmative by umpire Dave Orchard. It's dangerous to come in and not play with the bat. The ball spinning back in, takes the front pad. Big appeal by England. And Russell Arnold's on his way. He's bagged one, it's 209 for five. It's uh, swung away into the wide open spaces on the leg side. Dilshan, perhaps getting a little frustrated, gets off the mark with a swept four. Oh, that's got to be out. Got to be out. Gone. Shoker de Silva's finger goes up. And Dilshan playing a horrible mow across the line. Completely deceived by Robert Cross. Flighted delivery. And Dilshan has gone. Sri Lanka are now six down. England cock a hoop. Oh, gone. Yes, gone. Cross got him. Jai Wardener looking to chop that away behind square. It's a quicker ball from Croft. 
arm ball. It's a good catch from Stewart as well. They're never easy to take. And Croft has got rid of the danger man. Jai Warden has gone 219 for seven. Shout for a uh, catch and gone. Choke de Silva has no hesitation in giving Fernando out court at a silly point off Robert Croft. He's got the breakthrough in his second over. It's Croft's fourth wicket. Bowling. Well bowled, Aaron Goff. That's done the trick. Hitting the top of off stump. It's always what the quick bowlers are aiming to do, and especially when you're bowling it to tail enders. That'll do. Leg stump. That's the line to bowl to Murley. Full leg stump. This is all over. 241 all out. In England, I think, have done very, very well. And that's punched away again. That's going to be four more. This is good stuff. Okay, I think Vass might have had the better in the first two tests. Mark Atherton doing his utmost to put that right. It's going to be four more. This time just over pitching. Marcus hanging back there. Now that's closer, and he's given it. That doesn't surprise me. That looked a lot closer. My immediate instinct was it was going to be tight. Dave Orchard decides that it's out. It. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now, what's happened here? He's smashed that. Now, I do find this quite remarkable. How unlucky is this to get out? Now, where's it? It must have lodged somewhere in the arm or... Marcus Scoffett cannot believe it. Now, let's have another look. Well, nor can I. I was looking for it. I thought it had gone to the boundary. It must have, it's just got stuck right in there. Pure reaction holding on to it. And look at that. He's come up with the ball. Well, Marcus Triscothic can count himself very unlucky. You've got to say he's pretty brave to just stay as he has. Look, he hasn't wilted at all. It's hit him straight in the midriff. He's folded in two and come up with the ball. 55 for two. Oh, gone now. Well, Hussein, I think, hampered a little bit by that uh, leg strain. Couldn't get to the pitch of the ball and has just lofted a simple catch to short extra cover. Pulled away this time in front of square and hammered away. Bowled him out. Stewart deciding to play back. That was a mistake. England lose their fourth wicket, they're in a spot of bother here. They're still 150 behind. It's well played, you see, you can wait on that line, anything short of a length. Graham Thorpe so strong in that backward point area. And gone, that's fine bowling indeed by Chaminda Vast. Michael Vaughan is very disappointed, but the stand is broken straight away. And he's gone first ball. Very similar delivery, an even better one in my book, and Craig White goes first ball, and the whole uh, balance of the game changes. England still 64 behind, only four wickets left now. Again, yes. <laughs> well, the verdict is not out from umpire Dave Orchard. All England fans had their hearts in their mouths there as the uh, Sri Lankan side turned towards the South African umpire. Bolt from wide, going across him. He tried to play across the line. And, uh, well, you make up your mind. Edged and taken this time at slip. Superb piece of bowling, first thing this morning from Chamindavas. And England's position has been totally reversed. That's a great shot. Really good shot from Robert Croft, covering uh, the line of the ball and hitting it through, extra cover. Oh, it's a mix-up here, Robert Croft yeah. being sold, a dummy there, I'm afraid, by Graham Thorpe. He dragged him down, and I'm afraid that's a mistake in the calling. Robert Croft 
responded and got stranded. Exactly five hours at the crease now for uh, Graham Thorpe. Got hold of that one, and that'll run away for four. Takes Thorpe to 99. And there it is. Greeted by a triumphant cheer. It's been a wonderful innings by the Surrey left-hander. Five hours at the crease. Huge amount of concentration and effort has gone into this. He's been positive and he's taken the attack to the Sri Lankans and has got, has got a thoroughly deserved eighth Test match hundred. Oh, gone. Clipped off his toes by Andrew Caddick straight to uh, Jaisaria at mid wicket. So Vaas has got the wicket. Launched away by Darren Goff, that's good, positive stuff. It's the way Darren Goff can play. Edged and gone. It's the end of the innings. Shaminda Vass picks up his sixth wicket. England with a lead of just eight. Darren Goff couldn't resist. Well, nothing wrong with that shot. It's a bit of a looser for Andy Caddick, but that's... The start he would have dreamt of. It's a great shot. Anything with width, he does latch onto it quickly. Well, that's smashed away. It's almost six. One bounce. It's in the air and it's out. Hedapatu trying to work that through the mid-on area and the softest of dismissals and he's gone for a pair and he's furious with himself. Taken by Stewart behind the stump, Sangakara goes. What a test match this is. On a pitch where we thought the spinners were going to do the damage, Shaminda Vass has picked up five wickets this morning and Paddock following Goffin onto the act. 24 for two, Sri Lanka. That looks pretty straight, and out. What a start for England. Jaya Surya playing across his front pad and trapped LBW right in front. Oh, great shot. Waited for that, got in position, had to wait because it took such a long time to get to him. And uh, the silver has executed that pull stroke as, as well as anybody could. Silver's gone for it again, fuller delivery, but this time he's timed it just as well. Low ball. Oh, caught! Graham Thorpe has picked it up at mid wicket. No question about that, that's good bowling from Andrew Caddick. After he'd been hit for two fours, he slipped in the slower ball. Thorpe positioned there at mid-wicket as well as taking a really good catch diving forward. And De Silva has gone and Sri Lanka are four down for 57. Now he's caught it, they're appealing, but did he hit it? I'm not sure he did. Umpire is calling. Third umpire. Now, I don't think there's any problems with the catch. It's Nasser Hussain. Who's at slip? He's juggling. Is it in there? Is it in there? He has to give red, and he does. It's out. Now, the question I have for Russell Arnold is, did he hit it? Oh, He's given him. LBW, Jaiwadina goes. The Serenkin innings is collapsing. The pressure is telling. So much out of character, that shot. Well, it's like a deck of cards. Wink Martindale, in fact. Sri Lanka, 59 for six. It's Ashley Giles. Joins the party. The big count, the court around the corner. That's out. That's a good catch. Ashley Giles. I think Mike Atherton was the man round the corner. 
but that is a good catch. It's bounce and spin again from Ashley Giles to the left-hander, Chamin Navas. Good spin, good action on the ball. It pitches, it dusts, it takes the top of the bat onto the pad. It's Atherton, just camped in there at leg slip. It's a good catch, he's up, he shouldn't be. But he gets down quickly enough. Yes! Hold him out, cross the line. Giles celebrates. That should be uh, the last hope gone for Sri Lanka. Just Heti, Heti Arachi and Muralitharan to come for Sri Lanka. Brilliantly caught by Ashley Giles. That's a very fine catch by a tall man. Fernando went after it. Goff tested him. And Goff won the contest. 80 for 9, Sri Lanka. Just one more wicket required by England. The home team just 72 ahead. He's gone for the reverse uh, sweep. Ahsoka de Silva thinks long and hard, decides that Murali's right in front. Sri Lanka are all out, they've made just 81. And England need just 74 for victory. What an afternoon for the visitors. It's good foot movement, and that's four runs. And that's what I think the way England should look to attack. Tirachi. Mark Atherton's gone for the sweep. He's hit it from outside off stump. That's why it's gone square. Four runs. I don't think he's going to let Morley settle. And he's denying that up, Marcus Suscothic. And that's away for four. He's picked that up from around off stump and hit it. And a pretty square. Well, that's a wicket. That's popped through the top and the extra pace. Mike Atherton looking to turn that on the leg side. No, I think it might well have stopped. I mean, the big hit the leading edge and just looped up in the air. Oh, gone, I think. I think there's an edge there. Triscothic's gone. England have lost their second wicket. There's plenty of cricket left in this match yet. Triscothic has gone, and England are now 24 for two. Sri Lanka don't think this is over, that's for sure. And fourth off the mark confidently. Oh, he's picked the gap but wonderfully well through mid on and mid wicket. Won't get four. But he'll pick up a couple. And he begins where he left off earlier this morning. Pulled away. And it's going to find the gap between uh, square leg and fine leg. It's gone for four. Well played. Michael Vaughan, he's off the mark in fine style. Well, that's clubbed away. Forbes not hanging about here. That's a four over mid wicket. Nobody out on the leg side. Oh, bold, what beautifully bold by Murilithram. He's drawn Michael Vaughan down the pitch. Vaughan has missed it and been bowl middle stump. That is classic off spin bowling from Murilithram. Vaughan has gone. And he wants to remember this, Murali, he's round the wicket. He's changed the angles completely. Michael Vaughan comes down. He's done him through the gate. Classical piece of off-spinning. Hits the top of the middle stump. It's not over yet. Sri Lanka will tell you that. England have lost the third wicket. It's Michael Vaughan. He scored eight. England, 42 for three. Well, that's gone as well. Swift and rapid turn for Jaya Saria, and Stewart goes for naught. It's 43 for four. We've got a game of cricket on here, I can tell you that. That's well placed by Thorpe. There'll be at least two here. Baila, baila. Not taking any risks with the third run. That's a very good sweep indeed by White. That's relieved some of the pressure for England. Runs required down to the teens now.
He's gone after that, it's beaten mid on, that's four. Always uh, more likely to hit boundaries off the seamers in a situation like this. Up in the air, a dolly catch, he's gone. There's still hope for the home team. 63 for five now. Graham Thorpe and Nasser Hussain managed to see uh, England home at uh, Karachi in December to give them a famous uh, series victory there. Can they do it again? Hussain is joined by his runner, Alex Stewart, so there are experienced heads out there for England. Thick outside edge. It's gone through. Will it reach the rope? Chaminda Vass is after it. Stewart calling Thorpe through for the third run. Yes, I want that. Well, he's been given. Umpire Ahsoka De Silva thought that hit Hussein's glove. There's no complaint from the England captain. A little shake of the head. It was a brilliantly taken catch. It's gone very quickly forward. Off the glove, the top glove, and that's a top catch. Brilliant catch. Nasser Hussain is the latest batsman to get a duck. England is 71 for six. Three runs away from victory. Jai Surya taking his fourth wicket, the last ball of his eighth over, so it's going to be Murali again. Here's Giles, he was out in the middle in Candy when England won. Three required, Will Thorpe look for them all in one hit. He's gone for it, it's up in the air. Bounces safely. They're taking no risk, just a single. Nervous smiles, really nervous smiles. away into the leg side Thorpe won't come for the uh, second round the scores are level Thorpe on to 32 what a proportion of these uh, 73 runs that has been 100 not out in the first innings this 32 is worth another 100 to England There it is, England have made it, a fantastic victory away from home for England, the players celebrate on the balcony, four series victories in a row for England, two of them away from home, not many people have given them a prayer before Christmas to beat Pakistan away and then Sri Lanka, a job excellently done by a very fine team and team is the word for this group of players, Graham Thorpe the hero of the day, Finishing his first innings, 100 not out. He had to come out again in the second innings when England were chasing 74 for victory. 32 not out again. England, 74 for six. They're home by four wickets. Thorpe's exhausted. He won't care. Nasser Hussain can start his celebrations. He's going to have to go home for some treatment on that injury and will miss the one-day internationals. But it's another Test Series victory for England. Zimbabwe at home, West Indies at home, Pakistan away, and now Sri Lanka away. But Sri Lanka.